and my pink sweatpants. I just feel like I want to talk about it, so I'm going to talk about it. I want to get a bunch of these. in the mail. I ordered it from Etsy. I love Etsy so much. I'm so excited to open this. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Ah! I ordered three things from Etsy that were very much needed. They are gonna be perfect for my new apartment. I found these like French pastry magnets. She had a collection of a ton of different ones you could choose from. I got a milk, these eggs. I had to get the cappuccino. I am gonna be putting all of these on my fridge. These are just the cutest ever. I'm so excited. I really wanna get like a bunch of them and have like an entire grocery store on the outside of my fridge. These are just so cute. I love Etsy too because you get to support small businesses um, and artists and I feel like I could shop on that website forever. Next I'm gonna head over to my closet and pick out what I'm gonna wear today because I would love to stay in this robe and my pink sweatpants but I'm gonna get dressed. So I haven't really showed you guys what my new closet looks like, and I actually really cleaned it up and organized it yesterday. So as you guys know, when I moved in to this new apartment this month, I moved in with my boyfriend, and honestly, dividing up all the space so far has been no problem. This is our room. I haven't even showed you guys this because I haven't decorated or anything in here yet. I think this is gonna be like the last room that I put together. So this room being our room that we share, we divide all the space pretty much in half. I felt like that would be the best way to do it so we each have our side to do whatever we want with. But when it came to the closet, we have a huge closet, but I have a ton of clothes. So it was so sweet. I just said, put all your stuff in here and whatever space you don't take up, I'm just gonna use the rest of it. And he literally squeezed all his stuff on the smallest rack. It was just so cute because he knows I really wanted this space for my closet and I have a lot of shit, as you can see. I honestly just thought that was the cutest thing and I'm very appreciative. He only has like a little bit of clothes because all of this stuff and the bottom rack is all my clothes and I put all my shoes at the top here. It's a lot. So anyway, um, that's the progress on the closet. So I am gonna pick out what to wear today. Here is what I'm gonna be wearing today. I just changed my outfit like three times. I feel pretty comfortable in this outfit. I have this white flowy tank top on and I think it looks pretty cute with these jeans. I added my everyday jewelry and I'm gonna accessorize a little bit more and add a jacket later, but for now this is what we're looking at. If I'm being completely honest, it has been so hard for me to pick out my outfit every day because I don't feel good in anything I wear. I go through these phases all the time and I'll talk about how that relates to my mental health and everything later in this video, but getting dressed in the morning, especially the last few days, has been way harder than usual. I feel like I have so many great pieces in my closet a lot of staple like basic pieces like this that you could wear with a lot of different things because it's just plain and I love that I feel like my closet actually has a lot of options but every time I get dressed and put on my outfit for the day I just never feel good and even when I pull out like some of my favorite tops my favorite jeans everything I look in the mirror and I'm like this sucks. I really don't feel good. So I feel like I've been trying to dress more safe. Like this is pretty plain, but I feel better in it. I don't know. That's just been some of my recent thoughts lately. 
These are like my new favorite apartment decorations. I literally want to fill up this entire fridge with a ton of these magnets so I have an entire grocery store laid out before I even open my fridge. I think starting with these though are so cute, like the eggs. Oh my god, and the milk, I'm obsessed. It is breakfast time. I feel like recently, over the last few weeks, I've actually made time in the morning to eat breakfast and to like cook something really good. I get in these phases for a while where I really don't eat breakfast until like 3 p.m. But lately, I've really liked it as part of my routine. So I drink my coffee and now it's time to actually eat a meal. So today I'm gonna be making like an egg sausage tomato scramble. I have some avocado that's hopefully ripe so I can put that on too. It's going to be really delish. I just made it downstairs with my breakfast. I made chicken, apple sausage, eggs, and tomatoes. And the avocados were not ripe at all, so unfortunately. It never looks the most appetizing, but it's so good. So I have enough time right now to plan out the rest of my day. I like to do this, especially in the morning, because then I have a list of what I need to get done. I can stay on track, stay organized, and not feel like too overwhelmed with all the stuff I have to get done. Before I head over to my appointment, I'm walking over to pick up another package. All right, everyone. So I just finished with my therapy appointment. It actually went really well. It usually does. Um, I go once a week and then I have grief therapy, a siblings grief group. I do all the shit. I feel like recently, especially this time of year, my mental health gets a lot worse. I'm always kind of on this cycle of a couple days on and a couple days off. So for like half the week, I'm feeling very productive and motivated and positive. Like I, I've always had a very positive mindset. But then the other half of the week, I literally cannot get off the couch. I'm on the couch all day. I don't change my clothes. I don't do my makeup. I have a very difficult time staying positive. I'm usually just completely the opposite. I think a big part of self-care is just doing things that will help you in the future, even though they're hard to do at this moment in time. Um, but anyway, I am now headed to my next appointment. Appointment number two, which I have to go to right now because it is all the way by my old apartment. I am going to be getting my nails done. I love getting my nails done. It's such a nice time to chill, to talk to my nail artist, and just like, you know, just enjoy the process. So I loved these nails so much. This was like my favorite set. They're perfect for the holidays. The colors are amazing. I am so sad to see these go, but I desperately need a fill, as you can see, like they are growing out so much so I am so excited to show you guys what I picked out for nails today I think I'm gonna listen to a podcast or something like that on my way there a lot of you guys ask me who my favorite creators are on YouTube because obviously as a creator myself it's kind of interesting to see who or sending someone to prison is um, so I do enjoy watching a lot of other girls who do similar content to me on YouTube um, I love watching routines and vlogs and all that stuff but I also love commentary videos and I think that's kind of my that's kind of my go-to I just really enjoy listening to other people talk about current events about celebrities about like mindless drama that doesn't affect me but that's like really interesting so I have a couple YouTube videos queued up I'm gonna drive and listen to them because sometimes you just need a break from music and I have to like listen to someone talk for a while so I am gonna head over to my appointment I am so excited oh, I can't wait all right let's go bye to my favorite nails The lighting in here is awful, but I just finished with my nails. That was one of my longest nail appointments I've ever had. It was literally almost two hours and it was only a fill. It wasn't like I was getting a full set. So pretty crazy. I am on my way back to my apartment. I'm gonna take a million pictures of these nails tonight. I love them so much. Today's video 
is sponsored by Halara. I am so obsessed with this clothing company, especially for their active wear. It has always been so hard for me to get myself out the door and to the gym. And one thing I feel like has motivated me a lot is to have a cute gym outfit laid out for me to wear. So Halara sent me some of the cutest pieces that I put together in a bunch of my new favorite gym outfits. They don't just have active wear, they also have clothing for your daily routine. But these are definitely some of my new favorite gym outfits. So I'm so excited to show you guys and pick one out to wear tonight. Starting out with these yoga pants that I'm wearing right now, I'm obsessed with this navy blue color. And usually I'm not a huge fan of the cinch in the back, but I really like it on these. They're super flattering and the color is perfect. I also love that on all the bottoms that I picked out, it has this crossover design on the waist. So it makes them super flattering. And I feel like this is the way to go with leggings or yoga pants. So all of these fit me really well. And I paired them with some super cute tops. I love the basics, black and white with colored bottoms. The material on this top is amazing too. And I love that each of them have padding. So I don't have to wear a sports bra or anything underneath. They're all ready to go. And I'm also obsessed with thumb holes, which most of these have. So next is this pink top, which is the same as this white one I'm wearing right here. I paired this with these brown leggings and this is like my favorite gym outfit I've ever put together. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the color pink so when I saw this top I was like oh my god I need it. These are just the cutest colors together and it's just something about this style of shirt like I feel like it looks so good having this. It kind of looks like a little sweater over it but it's all attached. I feel like it makes it perfect for winter time because my gym at my apartment is kind of a far walk and it's freezing out so I definitely prefer wearing the long sleeves over there this time of year but this next top I'm also obsessed with it's in this reddish pink color and my favorite part for sure is the back it has this crossover and kind of leaves my back open and I paired that with yoga pants again I definitely prefer the navy blue pair but this color looks so good paired with the red top the material on all these clothes are amazing I feel like it's such a hit or miss when it comes to active wear because I want to make sure it's not see-through and that it's more durable than my regular clothes I feel like I can really move around and not feel restricted so I'm obsessed with all of these next I have these mint colored leggings and these look super cute with these white tops and the material again feels great I also have this white tank top with the crossover in the back this one again is really comfortable I'm obsessed with all these clothes you're definitely gonna see these in a lot of my upcoming videos so I am so in love with all these new gym outfits so thank you so much to Halara for sponsoring today's video definitely click the link in my description to check out their website. I am so obsessed with all these pieces. I'll have everything mentioned linked in the description as well. So thank you again to them and now back to the video. I am exhausted so I'm gonna get in the shower. I am so obsessed with these nails. I've literally been taking pictures of them because every time I get my nails done, I wanna post them on my Instagram story. I wanna put them on my feed and my nails grow so fast. So I need to use the first couple days after I get them done to take pictures of them. So I have literally just been taking pictures of them. I also am so excited because my apartment is having a holiday market today. I literally was looking up Christmas markets to go to and when I saw that my apartment was having one, I was like, perfect, I am so excited. I am gonna walk over there soon and see what they have. I think it'll be so cute. It's going to be perfect for this video. Welcome to the end of this video. I just got a microphone. Can you guys notice a huge difference? This one is so cute, it's pink. I'm obsessed. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts recently and I'm always like obsessed with how good the audio sounds. I feel like one of the only things I haven't upgraded as my channel has grown is the audio. So I was like, I really wanna get a microphone and integrate this into my videos. I wanted to come on here to end this video and talk to you guys about my Vlogmas schedule. As you guys know, I was so excited to start this month with daily December uploads and it was going so well. I've uploaded 10 videos so far this month and this will be the 11th, which I have never done. Like I've never 
never gotten close to 11 videos in a month, but I did talk about wanting to get 24 videos done between the first and Christmas Eve. So uploading every day for 24 days, which is unreal. It's always been my goal, but I was never able to do it since I had college finals in December. So I was like, after I graduate college, then I'm going to try it. I'm going to do it. And I've been planning it for months. I've got a lot of messages about, you know, what happened, where my schedule went. Like a lot of you guys were looking forward to this. So I just feel like I want to talk about it. So I'm going to talk about it. Um, So number one this year is the holidays have been extremely difficult. With the loss that I've had this year, this time of year is so different. Like... I am not in the Christmas mood, definitely not in the New Year's mood, but that's a whole nother conversation. I just honestly am not feeling it this year, but doing these videos and uploading every day was such a good distraction because all I was focused on was uploading and doing these videos and like having a good time. I started off really strong this month and then I crashed and I, for a couple days, did not get off the couch. I did not get dressed, did not do my makeup. And I was like, there is no way I can film a video right now. I just honestly like, I really want to make this channel very realistic, but there's just like the depression. It's really hard for me to show and it's really hard for me to talk about. I was like, I need to give myself a break. I need to. It just happened, honestly. And I was like, I can't do this. (laughs) Um, So I've been really trying to be there for my family and um, just put them first. And then lastly, outside of all of that, I feel like I've had so many good video ideas for this month. I literally have a couple pre-filmed videos that I wanna get uploaded. And I was like, I can't get these done in just one day. Like, I feel like these video ideas are so good. They're so cute and well filmed. I want to take an extra couple days to make these really good. Because I think one of the hardest parts of these daily December uploads is choosing quantity over quality. And, you know, I've just had to kind of force myself to upload a lot of these videos this month because I was like, well, I just have to get something up today. You know what I mean? I would love to take an extra couple days on this video and make it a lot better, make it something like I'm really proud of. But because I'm uploading every day, I don't have time to do that. I just have to get it uploaded. So it's definitely been an interesting test. Um, I think it's been a great experience and I definitely want to do something like this again. So anyway, that is my reasoning for kind of pausing my daily uploads. And I know a lot of you guys were wondering where I went, what I've been up to, if I'm okay. So here I am. And I wanted to give you guys that update. So anyway, I wanted to give you guys that update. And I also want to tell you guys about my schedule moving forward. This will be my 11th video of December. I'm getting uploaded. And I was supposed to upload 24 before Christmas. But I think I'm going to just continue these more frequent uploads until the end of December. And my goal is to get 15 videos uploaded for December total. I feel like that's pretty good. You know, it's not daily and we're not really counting down till Christmas anymore, but I think just staying active and posting frequently until the end of December is how I'm going to feel fulfilled with this December upload challenge. I think 15 videos is crazy and I've never done that before. So I will have this video as number 11 and then four more uploads of December. So definitely subscribe. (laughs) If you've made it this far in this video, definitely subscribe. Yeah, that is my plan. um, If you guys are curious. So I hope you guys made it to the end of this video so you can hear my schedule now. I don't know. I just like, I want to set a goal. I want to have like something I'm trying to reach because I don't want to just fully give up on this challenge. Um, So that's it. That's So that's what I'm thinking. I should see you guys again for another upload before Christmas, but I wanted to end this video by opening my advent calendar. (laughs) I thought this was the cutest idea. I bought two advent calendars. Um, This is the first one, which I never even opened the last doors. And then this one, I haven't even started. I bought two of them so that we can count down the days together. I had to relabel this one with 13 to 24. And these were expensive. This was like $8 just for one. 
it's crazy i spent like 20 dollars on advent calendar i think the way i'm gonna do this is just continue counting down the uploads so this was upload 11 so we're gonna open the 11th door and hopefully we get to 15. so here we are video number 11 of this month so i'm gonna open the 11th door I don't know if that even worked. Oh, it's a cute one. We have a heart. I forgot to mention is one of the other reasons I stopped doing the daily uploads is because my camera broke, literally broke in this video. And I was so upset. I was like, what the fuck am I going to do now? So I dug up this old Canon that I've had for like eight years. Um, anyway, that's another reason because my camera broke and I was like, what do I do? Anyway, let's eat this chocolate. I could never do ASMR. This is delish. Okay, anyway, thank you guys for staying until the end of this video. I love you all so, so much. I appreciate your patience and I appreciate, you know, your guys' support. I will tackle Vlogmas. I swear, I will do it full out next year <laughs> um no like i honestly was thinking maybe one of these months next year like march or summer or something like that i will upload every single day just like of june you know i don't want to wait until next december to try this challenge again so maybe during summer we'll do like a little summer countdown as you guys are ending school in may or june and i'll upload every day and you guys can end the school year and start summer with a new video every day let's talk about it in the comments what would you you guys want for a new month of daily uploads <laughs> i'm not going to give up on this challenge i want to do it 24 videos in a row but anyway i will see you guys again before christmas for four more videos this month thank you guys for watching until the end and i love you guys so much bye Mwah.